Proboitoid has what is called a holographic brain. This brain duplicates. Yeah, this is part two, yeah. Family tried to stop us from making this video, yeah. About the robotoids, not clones. Get this in your head, this robotoids, not clones. Yeah, look at them, you know them ones. That's why when you see these people, yeah, every other whatever when they show them on the TV and the media, they always look different. Because they're not they're not the same people, family. So this is part two of robotoids, not clones. It's essentially the entire memory of a person being copied. The key to doing this is a new technique called an ultrasonic cerebral hologram. Using high frequency sound waves, which are inaudible, a complete three-dimensional picture is made of a person's brain. This is a painless, non-destructive process, and under the proper conditions, it can be done without the person even being aware of it. Last month, I revealed that the Russians are using Nelson Rockefeller's hit list. Did you hear what he just said? Did you hear really just hear what he just said? The man said it can be done, yeah, without you not even realizing it, yeah. So when you're going for a routine checkup, you might go for an MRI, you might go for this, you might go for that. You don't know what the hell these people are doing. They might be copying your brain so they can pull it into a, a robotoid family. Jeez. Bolsheviks here in America, and for roughly three years they have been preparing for this day. They have been secretly making cerebral holograms of the people on the list at every opportunity. This has been done to every person on Rockefeller's list who has visited Russia or Eastern Europe in the past three years. When an organic robotoid is made to simulate, for example, our late President Jimmy Carter, two major factors are involved. One is the genetic coding required to simulate Carter's appearance, voice, fingerprints, and so on. The other is a holographic image of Carter's brain. This image is a complete record of the neuron patterns which existed in Carter's brain at the moment the hologram was made. Therefore, it contains all the memory and knowledge Carter had up to that point. Doing this? At that moment, when a Carter robotoid is made, the biological computer in its head is caused to form according to the holographic record of Carter's brain. However, certain portions of the robotoid computer are caused to deviate from the holographic record. Uh, the end result is a biological computer which has to be programmed but which contains essentially all of Carter's memory, involuntary mannerisms, and the like. As a result, a Carter Robotoid will automatically do certain kinds of things without the need for specific programming. For example, a Carter Robotoid will seem to recognize old friends. That's because the computer memory of the Robotoid reproduces Carter's memory of that friend. The holographic process puts it there automatically without the Russian programmers even having to know it's there. Organic robotoids are such amazing creatures that they are still a subject of questioning and debate. This is true even among the Russian scientists who made them a reality. For example, robotoids seem to have no true instinct for self-preservation. In this regard, they act like machines, simply doing as they are told to do. By contrast, both humans and animals generally have the instinct for self-preservation. Robotoids can be programmed for self-preservation. Everybody's trying to mess up this thing here, you know. Preservation, but they are equally willing, if willing is the word, to perform suicide missions. Ex Suicide missions, but look at all these robots, yeah. But the pe people, yo, it's making me think, yo, how many robots versus actual human beings are on this planet? You know what I mean? That's what we need to work out. Because, yo, he just said that these people can recognize you, you know what I mean, as an old friend. You know what I mean? So you don't even know if you're looking at your real friend or some robotoid family. Yo, serious. Exploratory one way trips into space are only one example of this. If a space mission looks too dangerous to risk the life, of an experienced cosmonaut, 
A robotoid can now be used. The robotoid copy of the cosmonaut is already... Poop! Yeah, sorry, sorry. But you know the chat in Poop, innit? You know nobody can't go into space, so... This is what, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, really? A robotoid is going to be used to go into space. No, robotoids have been used to, to rule the world. That's what we're looking at when we're looking at Obama, when we're looking at George Bush, when we're looking at these damn people that are so-called politicians and whatever, whatever, celebrities, bro. We're all looking at robotoids, family. Yeah, they eat, they drink, they bleed. What the hell, fam? You know them ones there? Yeah, they're money, but they don't last as long. Yeah, what is it? What did he say? Was it two to three weeks or something like a month or so? And then I have to get destroyed and come back again. You know them ones there, family? This is, what's re this is what we're playing with, yeah? this is what we're working with. Yeah, roll the toys that are programmed by them, is Already trained the moment it's made, thanks to its holographic memory. Organic robotoids look and act so much like human beings that it's hard for us to get used to the idea that they are not human. But the Russians decided several months ago that the stakes are too high not to employ them. And so... The silent Russian invasion of America by robotoids is now well underway. As of now, the White House and Cabinet are under complete control by Russia. According to my latest intelligence report, only one member of the Carter Cabinet is still alive. All the rest, including the ad hoc gang of four, have been replaced by Russian robotoids. Likewise, the United States now has a Supreme Court made up of nine Russian robotoids. Why are you trying to direct this to Russia? I do not know. It's the whole world. It's the whole world. Yeah, the whole world. Oh, that might have been a... Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, Robert like a Tony. splinter in your mind, driving you mad. Hello? Hi, good afternoon. Is that Ruben? Yes, yeah, speaking. Hi, this is Modern at DSN at Lambeth. I'm just returning your call from earlier. You were calling to ask about your mother, Janice. Yes, please. Okay, so yeah, I, I located. She is on, on Lambeth site at Rosa Parks Ward. Oh, brilliant. That's brilliant. Sorry? That's really brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, much. so if you could get in contact, you can get in contact with them. You'll be able to talk to her there. Um, Rosa Parks Ward. Rosa Parks, yes. Yeah. So if you just call the switchboard and oh. ask them to put you through to Rosa Parks. And what, what's the switchboard number again, sorry? Uh, 0203. 0203. 228. 228. 6,000. 6,000. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Cheers. All right, then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Sorry about that interruption there, yeah, but I haven't seen my mum since, like, the age of three. So, like, I've reached out to her today. Well, the, she's in a mental home, minute. So I've reached out to the mental home today to try and get in contact with her. Yeah, 35. I ain't seen her since I was three. 32 now. That's why, um, yeah, this had to be um, paused. Ha! <laughs> Got more important things than robot toys. Yeah, I need to say my mum. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Matrix? Do you want to know what it is? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window, or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? Robotoids. That you are a slave, Neo. 
like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. Roll a prison for your mind. What is the Matrix? Control. The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. That's it, family, isn't it? Well, that's what it is, isn't it? I think he just broke it down right there. Yeah, the purpose of this whole world is to have us like batteries. Yeah, we're being controlled by robotoids. We're bloody, we're being controlled by robotoids. Yeah, we're li we're living in a in basically a, s a simulation where it's being controlled by robotoids. And why are we being put here? So we can be the battery. <laughs> For these robotoids, for this for this simulation, I want this. I want you know what? That's enough for you today. Peace, love, yeah? People united, let's all come together. All lives matter. Asian, black and white. Time to bloody unite.